Hi everyone, it's Miss Banfield here, Assistant Head Teacher. I've just put together for you a short video to explain some really useful features of Office 365. The features will help you read and dictate work that you might want to do while you're at home during this time. In order to find them, as you would normally do, log on to Office 365 as I have done here. And this will take you to this page here. If you click on a Word document and open a new one, it will open a Word document for you, just like this. I've copied some text into this Word document, as you might do at home. If you then go to View, you'll see this feature here, Immersive Reader. And if you click on this, the computer will now read the text to you. If I put my cursor at the start of the text, here. No, Capulet told his visitor. It's six of one and half a dozen of the other. We're both bound over to keep the peace. If I pause it here, I'll show you some of the more useful features. On this voice settings tab here, you can speed up or slow down the voice speed and change the voice selection from male to female. The piece. One as much as the other. And I don't think it's so difficult for men of our age. And I'll pause it there again. Go up into these three areas of the page here. On the first one, you can decrease or increase the text size. You can increase or decrease the spacing. And you can also change the font selection. I can also change the colour of the background if that makes it easier for you to read. On the grammar tab here, it will break down the syllables. But I could also ask the computer to highlight the nouns, the verbs, the adverbs, adjectives, apologies, and the adverbs. On this tab up here, reading preferences, I can ask the text to highlight Age. just one His line. Visitor, the young Count of Paris, shrugged. Or I can even get the computer to translate into another language. If you click on this tab here, I can choose Arabic or any other language. Click on document and the computer will not only change the language that I read, but also the language that you hear, just like this. لا قال كابوليت لزائره إنها ستة من واحد ونصف دزينة And as you can see, if I go back to the list of languages, there are many you can choose from. I'm going to go back to English and show you some of the features. If I come out of the immersive reader and go back to the home tab on my Word document, and then come along the computer will write down what I want it to say everything that I speak the computer will write it can even use full stop and start a new sentence for you if you speak slowly and clearly the computer will quickly get to know your voice and even insert new paragraphs, full stop, new paragraph. I'm sure you will agree, this is a really useful feature. And I'll stop the computer right there. Finally, I just want to show you the read aloud facility 
that will also help you when you're on websites. If I click on this website here and I want to look at GCC Bite Size, if I go into that, I've gone to a page here um, from the science section. In the top right hand corner of any website, you'll find these three buttons here. If you click on that and scroll down, you'll find the read aloud function. And as long as you've got your cursor placed over some words and press this button. Parts. From least complex to most complex they are. Cells. Tissues. Organs. Organ systems. Organism. This short film explains. And if I pause it there, hopefully that's explained to you the features of the read aloud function. So today we've looked at the immersive reader, which again is in Word document, view, immersive reader. If you then go back to home, you can go on home and click the dictate function, which is here, where you can speak into your computer and it will write for you. And we've also gone to a website and looked at the read aloud function, which is here. I really hope this short video has helped you to understand these three really useful tips. I hope you get practicing with them, using them at home. And we're all looking forward to seeing you back in school really soon. Take care. Bye for now.